Happy Monday, everyone. Hope that uh, everybody had a good weekend and maybe you're off to a nice start to this week since we've got a holiday coming up midweek. Short weeks are usually eh, better, right? We don't have to work quite as much. All right, so we, uh, we have a couple of things we're going to break tonight. And as we normally do, I'm going to go over some information before we actually get started ripping. There are some unpaid teams tonight in National Treasures football. At least one of them I know is going to stay unpaid because that person has already messaged me about five minutes ago to tell me they won't be paying for it. Uh, the others are still up in the air as to whether or not they'll get paid for. But meanwhile, first things first. Feedback is automated on eBay. Anytime that you leave positive feedback for me, you will instantly get positive feedback in return without having to wait. So that's always a good thing, right? A little win-win there. And of course, the other thing is to say thank you because I do always appreciate you being here. Bidding, breaking, chatting, hanging out with me, all that kind of fun stuff. So this is what it looks like in the days ahead. So tomorrow night, we're breaking a TriStar Authentic, not a replica, but an actual authentic full-size football helmet. And then we're also going to break a 12-box case of Leaf Ultimate Draft Baseball. That's all on tap for tomorrow. On Wednesday, we have got some new releases coming, three of them. We'll break all of that and a little more. So it'll be a Leaf Autograph Baseball Bat, followed by a half case of Todd. Pops Chrome Black Baseball, I'll get it out in a minute, followed by a half case of Panini 1-1 one one Basketball, and then a full case of Impeccable Football. Our two half cases are going to be loose boxes from shared cases. Thursday is Thanksgiving. Usually we break on Thanksgiving night, but I'm not going to this year because, well, I want to watch that Steelers-Ravens game. So, yeah, no breaking on Thanksgiving this year. But we will come back and break a bunch on Friday. It'll be another case of National Treasures Collegiate Football. We'll do a four-box case of Leaf Autograph full-size football helmets. That's the last case of those that I have. We'll have a five-box case of TriStar Game Day Great Series 3 Autograph Football jerseys and a ten-box case of mini helmets again, but it'll be TriStar on Friday as opposed to the Leaf ones that we're going to do tonight. And then both Saturday and Sunday are off nights. Now, shipping-wise, here's what you need to know. Well, first thing you need to know is I kind of messed that up, didn't I? Because that's not even right, is it? Let's just fix that real quickly. should look like that. Yeah, that's a little more like it. So, our mini helmets tonight are a free shipping break. So, that means that if you hit one of the mini helmets tonight, it's going to be out the door and on the way to you sometime between now and next Monday. That free shipping stuff always just goes out within a seven-day window. And if you are not lucky enough to pull one of the helmets tonight in that break, you are still entitled to a consolation card for your team. It is simply a loose, used, random trading card. It can be from any year and any series. Typically held to send with your next package since this is a free shipping break. But if you would like it sent sooner by itself, you only need to hit me up on eBay and let me know that, and I'll get it taken care of for you. Our paid shipping break tonight is the National Treasures Collegiate Football, and I expect that that should be out the door and on the way to you no later than Friday. Now, we might be able to get it out the door sooner than Friday, but it shouldn't be uh, any later than that unless something super unexpected happens. If you were to get skunked in the National Treasures break, you are still going to get a package in the mail. It will have your consolation card or cards in it. And uh, that is simply because that technically is your next package with it being a paid shipping break. And then, of course, I'm sure everybody knows that there's going to be no mail service on Thursday because of Thanksgiving. Lynchpin 57, hi. You want to know if there's any open teams uh, potentially in National, well, definitely in National Treasures Collegiate. We're going to have at least one and as many as four. And uh, I'll have to check on that after we do the mini helmet breaks. But all the mini helmet spots are paid. So I'm not sure which break you're asking about in terms of spots. But there will be some in NT Collegiate for sure. So there is a 10-box case of 2020 Leaf Autograph mini helmets coming up next. That's a full case break. It's break number two. Everything that we are opening tonight ended tonight on eBay 
which is Monday night, the 23rd of November on this Thanksgiving week. And of course, a uh, format that you're used to seeing probably with team names on one side and then the eBay user ID of each winning bidder is up in lights across from their team. If you are here for National Treasures Collegiate, don't go far. Your break is coming up shortly. You'll get a chance to see your name up there when we get to your specific break, which will be right after we do these mini helmets. Last little piece of business here, you're going to notice here in a moment that your background begins to get blurry. That is intentional. Please don't be concerned about that. That, uh, that isn't going to impact us at all. It's actually going to let us see things a little better than we might otherwise have been able to. So now i got to get all these mini helmets out of this big giant case here. So bear with me for a minute while, we, while I work on this so we can see what we got. The first things first, got to get them out of here. All right, so we got 10 in total coming out. For now, I'll stack them all right there, then I'll move them after the fact, and we'll do them one at a time. But we'll get them all out first, so you know they're all present and accounted for. Not that you wouldn't know that anyway, but... All right. Okay, I think I got that big case rustled out of the way. <laughs> case these things come in is always so large. You gotta try to dump it off somewhere. Now, if we pull any helmets tonight that are collegiate helmets, which does happen, if it is a current player, an active player in the NFL, it's gonna go to their current team. If it is a retired player, it will go to the team that they played for the longest. You know what? It might be easier to peel that off than try to cut it. They're always such a pain to cut. They're so not exactly easy to peel off either, are they? As we're finding out. Oh, we're starting off nice. <laughs> ah, yeah. We definitely are. Okay, we have got a Kyler Murray out first. You know what? Let's adjust this just ever so slightly. Because that seems a little low tonight, doesn't it? That's a little better, right? Yeah. So it is a Kyler Murray. Of course, it'll go to the Cardinals. It is on a collegiate helmet, fittingly enough. It is Beckett authenticated. We saw the sticker there on the back. And maybe we don't have a paper COA for Beckett. Ah, there it is. It is there. It's tucked in into that bottom little area. Sometimes they do that these days. I don't know why, but whatever, it works. So first out is the Kyler Murray Chrome Helmet, which is a nice hit for the Cardinals. Good way to start things off. Lunchpan, both things that we're opening tonight, of course, are uh, full case breaks, as as we uh, noted there a moment ago. So anytime something is loose boxes, it's going to tell you that, both on the little informational sheet that I show before the break and also in the listing description itself. This is a DJ Moore. It's out for the Carolina Panthers. It's also Beckett authenticated. And this time, our little authentication uh, paperwork you can see down on the inside, which is Usually where they stash them, but not always. Augustine is here. Hi, Augustine. How are you? He says he likes the structured info. You know what? A lot of people that break with me all the time, they have heard it so many times, they're just like, oh my gosh, I wish you wouldn't go through that every time. <laughs> but you know what? There's lots of new people that come in and out too, so I figure it's always good to share the info, share the wealth, if you will. DeAndre Hopkins that the Texans wish they still had him like they do on this helmet. That is a JSA authenticated sticker on the back and some JSA paperwork there in the front. Chris says he'll take all the collegiate teams for $5 each. <laughs> I bet you would, man. <laughs> oh, April says having some trouble with the audio. I don't know, April. I've tried 
Uh, uh, some, some people report that they do. Some people report that they don't. I've tried everything in the world to fix it. All the equipment has been replaced. Everything's been replaced. I don't know why. If there's still audio problems, I'm not sure what it is, unfortunately. Chicago Bears coming out next, and that is Dick Butkus. And where's our authentication sticker? Rot row. Do we not have one? I don't see one. Do you see one? Am I overlooking it? Maybe it's on the... No, I don't think we've got an authentication sticker on that one. Let's see if we've got any paperwork in the bottom. No, we don't. So while this is, I'm sure, an actual helmet that is authentically signed, it is definitely doesn't have a sticker or paperwork telling us that on here that I can see. Not that it's visible, anyway, unless it's down below the border there. So you might be able to reach out to Leaf. That is the person who, or the people who made this product, and they would probably be able to replace that COA for you. Uh, if you need to have that done, it depends, I guess, on if it's going to be for a personal collection or if it's going to be for sale as to whether or not you care about that. But that is most likely Leaf will have to get together with you on that one. I know they have done that before for people when they've messed up and not included it. That is Jonathan Ogden for the Ravens. It is Beckett Authenticated. There's our sticker on the back and our paperwork in the front. And I think, gosh, the last time that had to be done that I remember from one of my breaks has probably been at least two years ago. And they did absolutely work with the, with the person who got the helmet and got it taken care of. But it did take like six or eight weeks by the time it was all sorted out. So The Falcons, baby, got a little Calvin Ridley signature there and there is on the back another Beckett authenticated sticker and we got the paper COA inside so all in all we're cruising along pretty well so far so good April said oh that's your bear's helmet all right cool April so yeah so you probably know the drill you I know you've been around in breaks for a while so you've probably hit one at some point or seen one pulled that doesn't have everything it should have good news is i think leaf will fix it with no problems as beckett authenticated sticker and paperwork it is joe theisman nice and that is for washington when they were still the redskins and what does his inscription say lt got me good that's what his inscription says oh i love that that's hilarious <laughs> that's so awesome all right, I like that Theisman just because of that inscription, I think. Hi, Edward. This is your first time breaking with us tonight. Well, welcome. I am uh, glad to have you join us, Edward. Lynchpin, you need the lions. And uh, James, you said you didn't get into this one, but you wanted to say Happy Thanksgiving. Well, yay. Well, I'm glad you stopped by to say hey. Happy Thanksgiving to you, too. That is Frank Gore for the San Francisco 49ers. We are Beckett Authenticated Sticker and Paperwork tucked down inside there. We've opened eight. We have two to go in our mini helmets. And then we're going to cruise into our NT Collegiate where I know we will have at least the Rams available because the person who bought that isn't going to pay for it. And we might. They already told me that. That's how I know that. <laughs> I'm not, uh, I'm not doing a psychic hotline on you. <laughs> this one is another one for the Bears with Dan Hampton Hall of Fame inscription on it. You've got Beckett Authenticated sticker and, of course, our Beckett paperwork tucked away there in the front. we got one left coming into a little last box mojo here. Let's see if we can't pull something super spectacular out of the last box. What do you say? Let's try it. Let me go with yes. All right. Yeah, April got lucky with that Dan Hampton, right? I mean, you already had the nice uh, Dick Butkus, and then you got the, got the Dan Hampton. Not too bad. And Kansas City Chiefs are taking home mini helmet number 10 tonight with Curly Culp. 
And it is also Beckett authenticated. And yes, I do see our paper hidden away down in there. So we will recap these as I get them put back in their boxes. So we'll just do some quick little recapping as we go. Dan Hampton for the Bears with a Hall of Fame inscription. Mr. Curly Culp there for Kansas City. How about those Chiefs yesterday, right? You just can never count them out. Never. Not as long as they got Patrick Mahomes, anyway. The Joe Theismann with the fantastic <laughs> inscription with LT got me good. I just absolutely love that. Usually they just say, oh, Hall of Fame or something like that. He actually had a little fun with his. Calvin Ridley, that one is for the Atlanta Falcons. Here's our other one for the Bears. This is the one that is missing its authentication. It is Dick Butkus. And April, if you want to, you know, hit me up in messages if if Leaf gives you any grief about it, and we'll try to I'll try to help you sort it. Although, as I said, the last time it happened with one of my customers it was a couple years ago, but they did resolve it for them. It's DeAndre Hopkins and the Texans. Then we've got one for the Ravens, who my Steelers are going to be playing on Thanksgiving night. What? That's going to be quite fantastic, I hope, unless we lose, in which case it'll be awful. But that was Jonathan Ogden for the Ravens. Got a little Frank Gore here, San Francisco and the 49ers. Got two left, and let me get their boxes. Next to last, for the Carolina Panthers, you have a DJ Moore. And then the first one that we saw tonight is pretty spiffy. It's Kyler Murray on a chrome helmet, Beckett authenticated. And, of course, being his collegiate helmet goes to his current team, which is the Arizona Cardinals. Now, I need a hot second to get this put out of the way while I am doing that. I'm going to let you look at something else for a minute. Just, you know, I don't know. Keep you occupied, I guess. <laughs> now, for those of you who missed me going over that a minute ago, please take a moment to read this information, and I will be right back with you. All right, let me grab our case of NT Collegiate, and let me see where we are on payment. So I'm still going to leave you looking at that for a minute, and see if we got all but our one team paid, or what our deal is. Yeah, so it's just the Rams that is unpaid, and uh, yeah, it's one of those, oh, I didn't know what I was bidding, and I just bid the wrong amount which you, I guess, didn't notice like when you had to bid it and then confirm it and then confirm it and then confirm it. <laughs> but anyway, we are going to have the Rams available. And it looks like they sold for around $57. So looking for something in that general vicinity if you're interested in the Rams. So you've been looking at this for a minute now, right? <laughs> I'm still going to hit the high points. If you hit one of our mini helmets, it's going to be out the door and on the way to you sometime within the next seven days. Could go towards the beginning, could go in the middle, won't go later than seven days from today. If you did not hit in the mini helmet break, consolation card. Typically sent with your next package just because it's a free shipping break. If you want it sent sooner, send me a little note on eBay. Let me know that and I will handle it for you. Our paid shipping break, which is what is upcoming, is our National Treasures Collegiate Football. It is a full case break, break number four. Also, uh, should be out the door, I'm going to say by Friday. It's always plus or minus a day, but really realistically, I think it'll be out the door by Friday without a lot of problem. And if you get skunked in this one, because it is a paid shipping break, that technically is your next package. So you would get consolation cards that would ship out when the rest of the break goes out the door. And remember, there's no mail service on Thursday, because that is Thanksgiving. 
So a four-box break of 2020 National Treasures Collegiate Football. This is a full case break, break number four. Ended tonight on eBay the same night that we are breaking it, which is Monday night, the 23rd of November. And, of course, the Rams is our unpaid team. And uh, that's Mr. My Finger Slipped. So if somebody wants to pick up the Rams, please jump into chat. And let me know if you are interested. And I know I'm not looking at chat right this second, but I will in a second. And then I'll see if anybody wants it. <laughs> and everybody else, you will find your eBay username across from your team there on the opposite side. Except for, apparently, Washington. And why did I not put them on there? I have no earthly idea. Apparently, I made a little, a little cut and paste error. Now, didn't I? Yes, I believe I did. So, Washington team owner, um, I hosed you up a little bit. <laughs> right there. I didn't mean to, and I'll fix it for you. If you just give me one second here, I'm going to, I'm going to get it. I'm going to cut and paste your info in there and put it back up there. I just need one second to find it because I didn't mean to mess you up, man. See, my finger slipped. I laughed at the guy who said his finger slipped <laughs> and then I messed up and didn't cut and paste all my teams quite right. So what a hot mess that is, right? All right, one second. I'm trying to fix this spreadsheet here for uh, having left off Washington. And why do I not? Oh, good grief. All right, third time's the charm, maybe. I keep having a little issue there with dear old eBay giving me grief. All right, looks like I have got it here. Let me drop it in there and put it back up there just... You know, so we have a record of it. It's always good to have the right information available, isn't it? So, there. Now it should be fixed. I'll show it to you again. And there it is fixed. All right. So let's bring you back to me. And does anybody want to pick up these Rams, by the way? Renee, you're saying how much for them. They ended on eBay at 57, but throw out an offer. So, um, and I see Chadillac's in there too. Hi, Chadillac, by the way. And Zach's here, Steeler Nation indeed, right? And um, James says, yeah, he put that on there because it ended his career. Well, for sure. But I'm just saying, I think it's funny that he put it on there. Like of all the inscriptions you could put on there, I don't know why, why that's... Why, that's the one you would put, but I love it. I think, exactly, Augustine says it takes a good sense of humor for him to put that on that helmet. I agree. Uh, that's my thought as well. So, and Chadillac, that one's going to you, the Theisman. Well, good. Congratulations. Edward, yes, sir, I did find you on there and got you plugged into Washington. Thank you for helping me out on that. And Zach, you says you'll offer 30 for the Rams. Um, all right, so... If anybody else is interested in the Rams, speak now or forever hold your peace. Otherwise, they're about to go to Zach for 30. So uh, if anybody else wants some, let me know now. And if not, Zach is going to be the proud owner of the Rams. And uh, we'll see what they come out with here. All right, Zach, you know the drill, I believe. If you would be so kind as to send $30 to that email address that I just typed in there, that is my PayPal email. I do not check that email for correspondence, guys. So you do not want to send me emails there because I will literally never see them. You always want to message me through eBay. But for the sake of this sort of thing, I know it's OG, man. That's old school email. So that now has Zach with the Rams reflected on our spreadsheet. While he is taking care of PayPal, I'm going to get in here and get this canceled out on eBay. And uh, then we're going to be rocking on down the road here. So let's get this canceled, which is good luck for the person who just brazenly uh, said they weren't paying for it, isn't it? They don't even get a, uh, they don't even get any kind of um, unpaid item or anything. Isn't that lucky for them? So I get to lose a ton of money and they get to skate on it. One of the unfortunate side effects. And they weren't even going to tell me either. I had to email them to find out what was going on, which is just even somehow worse than not paying it. It's just that you're going to then also ignore it. <laughs> right? 
I don't know. I don't understand people. But anyway. All righty. Zach says he is squared away. And if he hits anything, I can send it with his Raiders. You got it, bud. I will absolutely do that. Get out our ugly orange boxes here. So, so ugly, this color combination for the boxes. I hate it. <laughs> it's, I mean, I love Halloween, but I don't like, I just don't like this combination for National Treasures. The colors just bug me. I don't know. All right, we have, of course, one pack per box in this dealio. So once I get them all out of their plastic and sleeves, we're going to crack each box and get our pack out and then just get all this off the table except for our packs. Give us a little bit of working room. And of course, we got more National Treasures we're going to open on Black Friday because they did not give us a Black Friday product this year. But they did give us a Cyber Monday product, which is Rookies and Stars football. So we will be opening that on Monday, assuming that it gets here. Because, you know, with none of the shipping services working on Thanksgiving Day, and you're lucky these days if UPS and FedEx show up on the day they're supposed to anyway, I always think it's dicey when they're trying to get stuff to us on a Monday, but they swear they're going to be able to, so we'll see. Let's hope anyway, right? All right, collegiate product. So, here's what you got to know about that. It is, well, first of all, I need to pick something up over here. And there we go. So, the deal is this. Collegiate products, same as in the helmets. If they are an active player with a current team, the card will go to the current team. If they are a retired player on a collegiate uniform, which all these are collegiate uniforms, it's going to go to the team they played for the longest. Okay? So that's the deal there. Now let's get down to business. Let's see what we've got. We've had pretty good luck with NT so far. First one I see is base card. It is number 299, and it's Jimmy Garoppolo, and I need to get a different size sleeve out for it. I forgot we had base cards in here, which are a slight bit thinner than our other cards. So we'll put Mr. Jimmy G over there for the Niners. We've got a trio coming up. And it is Baker Mayfield for the Browns, Jalen Hurts, the Eagles, Tyler Murray for the Cardinals. Now, the way these work, when you've got multiple teams, you've got to own 51% or more to take it outright. If no one owns 51% or more, which in this case would mean two of the three teams, then it's going to be awarded using random.org. We'll talk more about that in a little bit. Jalen Rager is the next. It's numbered to 99. That one is also going to the Eagles. I don't know why I said also. We don't know where that one's going. <laughs> but it is uh, just, I guess, because there was an eagle on it. I had eagles on the brain, but the relic goes to the Eagles. And here comes Miles Sanders. So uh, we're on an Eagles kind of box. That is numbered to 49. And you've got an autograph and relic pairing there. Good looking relic here, and it should be, because guess what? It's a one of one. It's Devin DuVernay, and that is headed to Baltimore and the Ravens. I think we've got a little bit of a soft corner on that lower left on the back, primarily, because I could feel it. Not so much that I see it, but I felt it a little bit. So a nice looking patch, one of one, DuVernay, hard signed autograph, going to Baltimore. Zach Moss comes out next. And Zach is also a hard signed autograph, and it is numbered to 49. And Zach goes to Buffalo in the Bills. Numbered to 99, I have got an Eagles box for sure, man, because this is Jalen Hurts. I had a ton of Eagles in here. That's crazy. So, 99. Now we're going to Philadelphia. Uh-oh, Chris says you've got some info per the shipping problems. 
which shipping problems are we talking about? <laughs> what shipping problems am I having? Are you talking about just like packages being delayed in transit? Is that what you mean? Or you mean something else? Now you've got me all like worried that there's something else going on that I don't know about. You can't do that to me, man. T. Higgins, number 230, our booklet, relics and autographs and... Uh, Looks to be overall in pretty good shape. Maybe some minor stuff there around the spine. And T. Higgins goes to the Bengals, who sadly have lost Joe Burrow for the season. Not just his ACL, but also his MCL. And apparently some structural damage to the knee. Although they maintain they believe he will be back next year. So I guess not so severe structurally that they think he's... He's done for good, but it certainly wasn't, wasn't a good situation. Next up, I've got Russell Wilson. That is our base card number to 99. It's going to Seattle and the Seahawks. KJ Hamler is numbered to 99. And KJ there is going to Denver and the Broncos with his relic. Followed by... Who have we here? Michael Thomas for the Saints, numbered to 99. We've got more relics. And a James Morgan to 99. That's going to go to the poor Jets, the still winless Jets. I feel bad for them. I hope they win one soon. For real, I hope they do. That is number to 49. You have got Donovan Peoples-Jones. Hard signed autograph. Dual color relic, Donovan Peoples-Jones heads to Cleveland and the Browns. Got a redemption, and I am giving you just no info on it until the end of the break, because I mean like that. We flip them all over at the very end of the night. Speaking of the guy, there he is, Joe Burrow, and it is numbered to 99 Cincinnati Bengals, hard-signed autograph for Joe Burrow, who is really off to a fantastic start his rookie year. It's a shame that this happened, but I'm sure he will be back ready to roll next year. So, Next up is our booklet, LaVisca Chenault. It's numbered to 49. LaVisca Chenault goes to Jacksonville. His autograph, eh, it leaves a little to be desired, honestly. All he does is sign his initials. You all know how that bugs me, but... Anyway, what are you going to do? Not much you can do about it. So, that's his signature. Barry's looking for some Patriots, saying, go Patriots. Chris, you just typed in, yup. <laughs> Does that mean it is about the packages that go MIA? That, like, don't scan for long periods of time? I had been on a pretty good roll. We had some problems, and then it settled down, and things started getting back to normal, and now we're back into several packages that are just out in the ether for long periods of time, and I'm sure they are eventually going to show up, but it's just the Postal Service is not very reliable right now. That is number 49. It was a Kyler Murray base going to the Cardinals. Then I've got a Leonard Fournette, number 2. 75, and where is Leonard Fournette right now? Is he down in Jacksonville? No, he, no, 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 he left Jacksonville. Is he in Tampa Bay? Where'd he go? <laughs> I can't remember where he went. Well, wherever he is currently is where he goes. Maybe he's at Tampa Bay. I don't remember who picked him up. Well, isn't that awful? You'd think I'd remember that, but I'm drawing a blank on it. I don't know why, but I am. He is Tampa Bay. Okay, good. All right. <laughs> and that makes me feel a little bit better, like I haven't totally lost my mind. K.J. Hill and um, Chase Young. So we've got another two-team card, this one involving Redskins and Chargers. It sets up there as well, and housekeeping will be dealing with that shortly at the end of the night. Then I have a C.J. Henderson. What does that say? Number to 99, I think that says down there. And that one goes to Jacksonville. Got more dual. LaVisca here for Jacksonville and Steven Montez, who is the Washington football team. But this dual is autographed. Ooh, the plot thickens. It is numbered to 25. 
but it also heads up there to housekeeping. This, oh, you know I love this, because first of all, Steeler. Secondly, kid's been playing lights out. And nice low numbering on it. Good looking piece of relic, numbered to 10, hard signed autograph. Chase Claypool headed to Pittsburgh and the Steelers. Charles, yes, we have done the mini helmets. We generally do the memorabilia and first and then the cards. Every once in a while we flip it. But it is always the order it ends on eBay, uh, which tonight was the mini helmets first. And uh, I say always, 99% of the time it's the order it ends on eBay. So tonight, mini helmets were first. Number to 49, a KJ Hamler hard signed autograph going to the Broncos. And this little beauty for the Bills, because look at that piece of that Rose Bowl patch. Number to 10 with Jake Fromm. That's a beauty. Our booklet, our little booklet here, brings us A.J. Dillon. It is numbered to five. We've got, again, uh, just maybe some tiny, tiny things there on the spine, but not anything to be too worried about. Fantastic relic on the left-hand side. Got your hard-signed autograph there. A.J. Dillon and the Packers, numbered to five on that booklet. So we got one box left. You know what that means. Oh, yeah. We are headed into last box mojo. So hopefully we're going to pull some heat out of here. After we do that, we'll take a look at our redemptions, see what's on the other side of them, go to the Panini website, get them all verified. Then we will come back and deal with all the cards with multiple teams that need to find homes up there in our housekeeping area. There's Fournette again. This time it's numbered to five and uh, Tampa Bay. Number 275. This man put on quite a show yesterday, especially in overtime. Really fourth quarter and overtime. Derek Henry for the Tennessee Titans. Oh, <laughs> I love, love, love that patch. That is great. That is number to five. It's Brian Edwards, and there's one for the Raiders. That is a seriously sweet-looking relic for the Raiders. Denzel Mims, number to 25. Denzel heads over to the Jets. Hard-signed autograph and relic, number 249. You've got Eno Benjamin on this one. And Eno Benjamin goes to the Cardinals. T. Higgins hits again. Of course, he is Cincinnati and the Bengals. That is numbered to 99, hard signed autograph and relic. And one more redemption to join its brother up there in housekeeping. And one more booklet that's going to the Green Bay Packers because it's Jordan Love. Oh, wait, there's cards stuck behind it. Whoops. <laughs> Not quite ready for that booklet yet. Number to 99, I have a Miko Hardman Jr., who I just almost looked right past, didn't I? Sorry about that. I got all excited about this. Jordan Love, number to 35. Look at that. Hard signed autograph and relics. So, not a bad way to end up. At least if you're a Packers fan, it's not a bad way to end up. Now, we've got a couple of redemptions to check out and then a whole bunch of, well, three housekeeping things to do there. Our first redemption, oh, look at that. That's Brandon Ayuk. So that one's headed to the 49ers, making their life a little happier. And our card set is College Material Signatures Silver. And on the other side is J.K. Dobbins. That one's going to the Ravens. College Materials Signatures Bowl Logo. Ooh, nice. Bowl Logo 3, it says. That's going to be a sweet-looking card when you get it. So we're going to go find out what these are numbered to here in a moment. J.K. Dobbins just tested positive for COVID today, too, by the by. So I believe he is not going to be with the Ravens on Thanksgiving night when they play my Steelers. Actually, three, I think three different Ravens ended up testing positive for COVID today or yesterday and it was announced today or whatever but anyway I think there's at least three of them not able to make the trip and he's one of them 
All right, so I figured we'd find redemptions, had everything set up, except the card set. College Materials Signatures Bowl Logo 3. Card number 112 is going to be J.K. Dobbins and tells us it will be numbered to 10 when you get it. See, I told you it'd be nice, didn't I? Mm-hmm. Yeah, buddy. Then we've got College Materials Signatures Silver. And where's that? Survey says where's silver on here. <laughs> there we go. Card number 110, Brandon Ayuk. And that one will be numbered to 25. So the Niners end up with a pretty good one as well. Now, didn't they? Now, we got to do this stuff. Here's what I need to tell you before, I guess I better bring your view back, you can't even see what I'm talking about. Before we actually go to random, I want to explain to you how this will work, okay? So you've got to own 51% or more to take a card outright. So the only way you're going to do that on a two-team card is if you own both teams. But on the, team where, on the card where we have three teams, Someone could take it outright if they owned two of the three teams, because that would certainly be more than 51%. So in a moment, we're going to go to the spreadsheet, and we're going to look that up and find out if that applies to anyone. Now, assuming that we do have to go to random, things will be entered in the order that you see them on the card. So, for instance, in this one, we have, or on this one, we would have the Browns, the Eagles, and then the Cardinals. That's the order it would be entered into random.org. We run random the same way every time. When we have 10 or more items in a list, we do random one single time. Wherever it lands, it lands. The person in the number one spot gets it. If we have nine or fewer, which will be the case on all three of these cards tonight, we run random three different times. The first two do not count. Only the third and final random makes the decision. Okay? So first things first, let's go see if anybody owns two of the three out of this. Again, that is Browns, Eagles, and Cardinals. So let's roll over here and check that out. So our Browns, that's Jaco Watso 19. And next up is our Philadelphia Eagles. And down here, that's Oklahoma Schooner. And then we're going to go up here to our Arizona Cardinals. And that is FM Breaks. So we actually have three entirely different team owners. So you know what that means. It means we're going to go over here and let random decide this one for us. So let's get, uh, let's get all this typed in here. So Browns, Eagles, Cardinals in that order. All right, good luck to those three teams. Please remember it is the third random, not first two do not count. So you can ignore the first one, ignore the second one. Here comes our third and final. There's three times our date and time stamp. It comes up there to the Browns. So the Cleveland Browns and Baker Mayfield are walking away with this one thanks to random.org. I'm going to go ahead and do that right now so that I don't have to go back and watch it later when it comes time to sort. All right. So that one's squared away. We have to rinse and repeat with this card that has Chase Young for the Washington football team on the top. And then, of course, in the second position there is where we find K.J. Hill for the Chargers. So unless somebody owns them both, we'll be going to random again. And that is Lon Jamoko 87 with the Chargers. And our Washington football team down here is Spitshiner. And yeah, we're going back to random to work on this one. All right, so we're Washington and Chargers on this one. Remember, it's the third one, so you ignore the first one, you ignore the second one. Here's our third and final. That tells us that we did run it three times, our date and time stamp. That one is headed to the Chargers. So we end up with the K.J. Hill position on this card, 
again by way of random, and we have got one more to go. And it also involves a Washington player. So on the top for the Jags, we have Chenault on the bottom. We have Montez for Washington. So one more time, let's run through our reads here. So once again, Washington is Spitshiner. And then for Jacksonville up here, that is Hap 8 Cruz. So, yep, you know what we're doing now. That's right. Back to random. We're giving random a workout tonight, that's for sure. So we are Jacksonville and Washington on this one. Whoops, except I just hit the wrong thing. Try that again. All right, good luck to you both. Here we go. Ignore the first one. Ignore the second one. Here comes our third and final. Three times. Date and time stamp. That one is headed to Jacksonville. So the Jags getting the Chenault out of this dual card. And now we are ready to do a little recapping. All right, so that's how we're going there. Is let's just get let's just get all of this back up here, and should well we may as well just look at our base cards again too. You know what? Normally we don't, but tonight I think we will. We're not. We don't have anything else. We've got a break after this, and um, it will be pretty quick just to go through them. Give me one second because I need a drink of water. Oh, that allergy medication I take gives me such dry mouth. <laughs> this is probably more information than you needed to know, but hey, oversharing, it's a thing. Number to 75, Derek Henry for the Titans. Fournette, number to 5, Tampa Bay. Fournette to 75, Tampa Bay. Kyler to 49, Cardinals. Number to 99, Russell Wilson for the Seahawks. Number to 99, Jimmy Garoppolo and the 49ers. Next stack, Nicole Hardman Jr. to 99, Kansas City. Number to 49, that is Eno Benjamin. And Eno Benjamin, I always have to stop and think about him for a minute. I think he's the Cardinals. Denzel Mims, number to 25, that is the Jets. Beautiful Rose Bowl piece of the patch there. Number to 10, hard signed autograph, the Bills and Jake Fromm. My favorite card of the night, well, you know why. It's the Pittsburgh Steelers, baby. Chase Claypool, number to 10. He's been cutting a path. C.J. Henderson is out next. C.J. is number to 99 and heads to the Jags. This little beauty here, there is your man Joe Burrow for the Cincinnati Bengals with the unfortunate injury yesterday. Hard signed autograph, it is number 299. Numbered to 49, Donovan Peoples Jones going to Cleveland. A one of one for the Ravens with Devin DuVernay. Hard signed autograph on that one as well. Had a redemption for the 49ers. Brandon Ayuk will be numbered to 25, according to the Panini website. J.K. Dobbins, numbered to 10, according to the website, and that was for the Ravens. T. Higgins, numbered to 99, another nice hit for Cincinnati. One of my favorite patches of the night, it is numbered to 5, and that is Brian Edwards, and it's headed to the Raiders. Number to 49, there is a little KJ Hamler coming out for your Denver Broncos. Number to 99, James Morgan, the Jets. Number to 99, Michael Thomas for the Saints. There's another KJ Hamler, that one relic only to 99, the Broncos. Hard signed autograph, Jalen Hurts to 99 for the Eagles. You may see him starting before this season is over if uh, if Carson Wentz doesn't get off his patootie and play a little better. Zach Moss, that's going to Buffalo, number to 49, hard signed autograph. Miles Sanders to 49, headed to Philadelphia. 
and a relic to 99 for Jalen Rager, and that is also Philadelphia. This ended up going to Jacksonville by way of random.org dual autograph. Then we had one going to the Chargers, and that was also by way of random.org. And this one went to the Browns, a third one that was decided by random.org. We've got a Jordan Love booklet. I'm not going to open it back up, uh, but it is numbered to 35. It is going to Green Bay. Then we had an A.J. Dillon booklet, numbered to 5, and A.J. Dillon heads to the Packers. So the Packers did really well in booklets. Another Chenault, numbered to 49, going to Jacksonville. And then you had another T. Higgins, this one to 30, also going to Cincinnati. So that has got our break and our recap covered for tonight, but I am going to one more time show you what's breaking in the days ahead. And then we're also going to take another look at when you can expect this stuff to ship in case you did not hear me going over any of that earlier. We will be opening more NT Collegiate on Friday night, so if you uh, feel so inclined as to want to get in again, we'll have you're going to have another shot on Friday night. Let me just get in. Let me get myself on the right page here, because right now I'm not. Now I think I am. I think I can. I think I can. All right, so tomorrow night, it is a case of Leaf Ultimate Draft Baseball and a TriStar autographed authentic full-size football helmet. Wednesday, we have three new releases. So first, we'll, all, uh, blah, 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 blah. we'll open a little memorabilia, because we're going to be doing a lot of that through the end of the year. And it'll be a Leaf Autograph Baseball bat. Then it will be a half case of Topps Chrome Black Baseball. Not only is that a new release, it's a brand new product. Then we're going to open a half case of one and one Basketball and a full case of Impeccable Football. So all of that is Wednesday. And both Chrome Black Baseball and one and one Basketball, those half cases are loose boxes from shared cases. Thursday night is an off night because i got to watch Steelers-Ravens. Friday night, we're going to break another case of NT Collegiate Football. We're actually going to do it ahead of memorabilia that particular night. Then it will be a four-box case of Leaf Autograph Full-Size Football Helmets. That's the last case of that that I have. A five-box case of TriStar Game Day Great Series 3 Autograph Football Jerseys. And a ten-box case of TriStar Series 2 Autograph Mini Football Helmets. Then both Saturday and Sunday are off nights. So that's what it looks like in the days ahead and uh, shipping one final time. If you hit one of those mini helmets, you can expect it to be on the way to you sometime within the next seven days. Our free shipping stuff is always just, just within a seven day window. If you were unlucky in the mini helmet break and you did not hit in that, you are still entitled to a consolation card. It's simply a loose used random trading card any year, any series for your team. Typically on a free shipping break such as this one, I would keep that and send it out the next time you have a package going. And I do keep track of it for a rolling 90 day period. But if you would prefer to have it sent sooner by itself, just send me a message on eBay. Let me know that. I'll hook you up. I'll take care of it for you. Then our second break, which we just finished, is our National Treasures Collegiate Football. And that should be out the door and on the way to you approximately Friday. As always, plus or minus a day. Please remember that Thursday there is no mail service due to Thanksgiving holiday. And if you were unlucky in NT Collegiate and did not pull a card of any sort, you will still get a package in the mail. It's going to have your consolation card or cards in it. And it will ship out when the rest of the break goes out the door because technically it is your next package since it's paid shipping break. So that's how it all works. And I guess that has got me wrapped up for tonight. So once again, thanks everyone for being here. I always appreciate you joining me, bidding, breaking, hanging out, chatting and all that kind of stuff. So um, yeah, come and see me again. Have a happy Thanksgiving, all that kind of stuff. And in the meantime, I guess I am uh, out of here until tomorrow. So we will see you the next time.